Hey everyone, this is JR Token, and we're here today. Uh, we're going to be talking about the Extract Craft uh, Ito Pro. Uh, this machine is made uh, for doing extractions. Uh, for us, we're going to be making a FICO, uh, also known as Rick Simpson Oil or RSO. Uh, the FICO is Full Extract Cannabis Oil. So what we're going to do is first we're going to talk about making our tincture. Uh, the tincture is kind of where it all starts. So uh, we take our material that we get, our cannabis material, and we freeze it. And then we take our alcohol, that's 190 proof or stronger alcohol, and we also freeze that too. So those are both kind of winterizing uh, before we even get started. So then once we do that, uh, we take four ounces of cannabis material and we fill it up in this half gallon jar. Now you can use up to a gallon jar at a time because this machine will do up to a gallon at a time. But we like doing a half gallon, so it's a little easier to deal with, manage, shake, and all that stuff. So uh, we fill this up with four ounces, and then above that, about an inch or so, uh, we add the alcohol. And then once we get that together, we shake it for three minutes or so. And then once we've got that good and shaken up, uh, we put it back into the freezer and then we set that in there for the freezer for about 10 minutes and then we pull that back out give it another little shake and then we have filtration that we do and so what we'll do is we have a screen here and we also use cheesecloth to straighten it out into uh, the Buchner funnel or you could put it into a vessel and then into the Buchner funnel whichever way you like and so what we do with the Buchner funnel uh, is it's hooked up to a vacuum pump, as you can see here, and the funnel's got holes in it. And what you do is you place a paper filter in there. And this paper filter is super, super dense. So you have to have the vacuum pump in order to draw all of that tincture through. And as it gets drawn through, it's filtering out a lot of the impurities that you do not want in your hash. So once you get this nice and filtered out, uh, you'll go ahead and pour this back into a jar. And then you'll put this jar back into the freezer for future use. Uh, once you're ready to start processing your uh, tincture, uh, you'll go ahead and take it out of the freezer. And then you'll start working with the actual crucible itself. And the way the crucible is designed, uh, it sits on these little rails and it has a plug system here. And to activate the machine, you have to plug it in. So once it gets plugged in, you can start the machine. And you have two settings. You have an extract setting and a purge setting. Uh, for what we're going to be doing, we'll just be using the extract setting. But if you were making a shatter or a hash, smokable hash product, uh, you could go ahead and use the purge setting. And so what would happen is after you, were, you sealed this and you brought the bubbling down, if you wanted to make the hash product, uh, you would remove the lid and then turn it to purge and then bring it down to where you want it and then pour it onto your uh, mat. And then that's what's going to become your shatter. Uh, but that's not what we're going to be doing here. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be making the FICO or the RSO. So once we get our uh, tincture in here, uh, we'll place on our lid, seal it up nice and good. And then we'll start the process of extraction. And as this thing uh, uh, purges the alcohol, instead of it just evaporating into the air, it's going to pull it out into this jar here. And this jar, you just want to kind of get a good seal on it once you get it started. And then this is where all your alcohol recovery is going to go. And that alcohol you can use again for another process. And so once you've got it out, you know, alcohol recovered and it's bubbled down to where it's a real low bubble and you'll kind of get used to where that is. Um, that's when you add your oil and we use organic hemp seed oil uh, because the hemp seed oil kind of has some of the omegas and all of the good stuff that you want to have in your uh, FICO. And so we'll take this and we'll add the hemp seed oil after we've removed it so that it's not heating anymore or pulling. And uh, we'll add, uh, pull the lid off and then we'll add the oil and just kind of give it a little stir. 
And once we get that kind of together a little bit, I will take these uh, uh, crucibles and then we will pour it into our magnetic stir. And the reason we have the magnetic stir is to decarb the material or the oil because we are not decarbing it prior to the process. Uh, if you decarb it before, you torch a lot of the terpenes, and then you have a brittle product that also is going to release more chlorophyll and impurities into the product, its final product itself. And that's what you don't want. So what we do is we add the oil in, and then we decarb. And so the process of that is you just add or turn on the stir, get it to where it's doing a nice little stir, and then you turn on the heat, and the heat is, uh, gauge, you can gauge it with this little digital thermometer here, which you can move up and down, and then basically you're going to heat it to the temperature that you want, which I think they call for about 240, I believe, and so you're right in that range somewhere, and you're going to go ahead and decarb this for about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. And what that's going to do is that's going to break all of the THCA down into THC. And then if you're doing a CBD process, uh, you would convert the CBDA down into CBD and give you a lot more active medicine uh, that you can use. And the thing about FICO and RSO is the way your liver metabolizes it. Uh, the way your liver metabolizes cannabis is that it converts it through a process into a Delta 11 from a Delta 9. And so that changes the way your body uh, absorbs and reacts uh, to the cannabinoids in the medicine. And so it has a much more, I guess you would say almost a narcotic effect in that it's going to be more efficient for uh, relieving pain. It's going to be excellent for helping you sleep. And it's going to provide some relief if you're going through things like cancer. Uh, like in my case, I have stage 3 cancer. Uh, it's going to help with a lot of the symptoms and also the pain and all of that stuff that kind of goes along with it. So in creating this uh, FICO, uh, you, what you can do is create medicine for yourself uh, that you can use on a daily basis that'll help you stay away from pharmaceutical medicine. And also, uh, like I said, with this product here, you can also make hash, smokable hash, if that's what you enjoy. Uh, and so like we wanna teach people independence and we want people to be able to make their own medicine in their own home. And now if this machine seems a little too complicated and a little too much, uh, they have the Source Turbo which is a smaller unit, it's kind of a smaller home unit that you can use to make the same product. And so check out extractcraft.com, give a shout out to Dylan, tell him that you heard about us on Cannabuzz, and I guarantee you he'll take good care of you. Thanks everybody, growers love.